All right, sixth graders. So today we are going to continue with our real world positive and negative numbers and zero. So we're looking at the first page. Example one it says look at sea level. The picture below shows three different people participating in activities at three different elevations. And we have to think about what does elevation mean in this situation? So in this situation, elevation means how high or how low they are in comparison to the sea level. If we read what they're saying, the hiker says, I'm hiking, so I'm above sea level. He's above sea level. I'm sailing, so I'm at sea level. I'm going to draw a straight line to show that he's at sea level. I'm scuba diving, so I'm below sea level. If we look at the bottom, it says, refer back to example one and use the following information to answer the questions. So the scuba diver is 30 feet below sea level. The sailor is at sea level. And the hiker is two miles or 10,560 feet above sea level. So let's keep that in mind for our next couple of questions. So let's write an integer to represent each situation. So I'm going to use letters to indicate which person they are. So H is going to be hiker, B is going to be boat, and D will be diver. So if we think about them as being on a number line, our boat, since it's at sea level, the integer would be zero. Our diver is below sea level, so he would be negative 30. And our hiker is above sea level, so he would be 10,560. Number two says, use an appropriate scale to graph each of the following situations on the number line to the right. Also write an integer to represent each situation. So we have our number line here and we need to scale it. So that means that we need to label it. So if we look at the points that we need to label, we have 15 feet above sea level and 20 feet below sea level. We don't have enough lines to go by ones. But if we find our center, our zero, we can count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, and negative five, negative 10, negative 15, and negative 20. So our hiker, since he's 15 feet above sea level, the integer would be 15 or positive 15. And then I'm going to show where he would be on the number line. I'm going to label him with an H since he's the hiker. Our diver is 20 feet below sea level. So that would put him at negative 20. Again, I'm going to label that point with a D to show that that is our diver. Next one is question three. It says for each statement, there are two related statements, one and two. Determine which statement is expressed correctly and circle it. Then correct the other statement so that both parts are stated correctly. So our statement is a submarine is submerged 800 feet below sea level. Statement one says the depth of the submarine is negative 800 feet below sea level. And statement two says 800 feet below sea level can be represented by the integer negative 800. When we talk about sea level, we wouldn't say negative 800 feet below sea level. That would cancel itself out and it would be 800 feet above sea level. So this one's not correct. But, but two, 800 feet below sea level can be represented by the integer negative 800 is correct. So we'll circle that one. And we're going to rewrite the first statement. So we would rewrite this without the negative sign. So we'd say 800 feet below sea level rather than negative 800 feet below sea level. Part B, you're going to do on your own. Part 
Part B will be part of your independent practice. This page will also be part of your independent practice, but let's review it really quick just to make sure that we all understand it. So part one, you'll write an integer to match each description. So we have some banking words, we have some sea level words, and we have some temperature. So if you remember from a pre our previous lessons, debit means that we're taking out. A deposit means that we're putting something in. And again, a withdrawal means that we're taking out. So keep those in mind when you write your integers. For problems two, three, and four, you're going to read each statement and then the two related statements. Circle the correct way to describe each real world situation. Keep in mind that the answer could be A, it could be B, or it could be both A and B. So I read each statement and determine which statement is read correctly or is written correctly. If And it might be one, it might be the other, it might be both. And finally, number five, it says a credit of $35 and a debit of $40 are applied to your bank account. So you'll graph, you'll have to think about what's an appropriate way to graph a credit of negative 35 and a debit of 40. What integer would represent a credit of 40? What integer describes a debit of 40, or sorry, a credit of 35 and describes a debit of 40? Based on your scale, describe the location of both integers on the number line. You can draw this if you want to. And what does zero represent in this situation? So for part A, when it's asking what is an appropriate scale to graph a credit of 35 and a debit of, of 40, think about that previous page that we talked about with our hiker and our diver and how we didn't go by ones, we counted by fives. So think about what would be the best way to scale your graph or your, your number line to show these two integers. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I'm here to help as much as I can. Have a great day.